On this, yeah, man. I just why well, come I just realized that that's yeah. classic right she, there. She just happened to be in there and uh, she she loved the joint, so I asked her, Would she just sing on it? She was like, Yeah, I do a little something on there. So she came in and did a thing, man. So wow. I love the Latifa, man. Yeah, it's Apple 921 Interactive Hip Hop and RB. It's TT Torres. If you are just tuning in, the big homie, the game is in the building. In here with TT Torres. You got a hit right now. We were just talking about it behind yeah. the scenes celebration. celebration. Got the uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony beat to it, yeah. the sample. What made you really want to go back to Bone Thugs? I'm, uh, you know, I grew up in Compton, and Bone Thugs was, you know, uh, heavily, you know, influenced everybody growing up in that era. And he, you know, of course, Easy E put them on. Everybody really thought they were from Cali. Yeah, at first, it's because it was with Easy. The sound, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, you know, once Easy passed, man, they really, you know, carried his legacy on cool. And then when I came in, I did the same thing. So I always had a genuine love for Bone Thugs. Met him in the beginning of my career and always wanted to flip mm-hmm. first of the month. Try uh-huh. to get Dre to do it, Swizz, Timbo, nobody would never do it for me. Yeah. And then this kid from Delaware, Young Sap, came through the studio recently, brought the beat. And uh, Weezy was recording next door. I played it for Weezy. He jumped on it. I called Chris. He jumped on it. Tiger was over yeah. there with Weezy, jumped on it. And um, then um, I was in the studio with Wiz and it was the record was finished. I played it for Wiz and he just was like, man, I got to get on here somewhere. So he put four bars on it. Then we went to radio. Listen, when I first heard Lonnie B play that record, I was like crazy. You can't hear because you don't have headphones on. I'm dropping yeah. bombs behind the scenes. But um, I was like, hit. Game is back. He's got a hit. And I love it. Yeah. You know? And so you just gave me the remix, but I want to play the original, and then I'm going to play the remix. Yeah, the remix okay? dope, too. Yeah, I haven't heard the remix you yet. No, I had to do the remix because my fans kept asking. They were like, you, when you, if you do the remix, you need to put Bone on it. I don't think that they realize how hard it is to find all five members okay, of Bone Okay, so that Thug. was my next question. Did yeah. you have the okay from the group members? Where Did they give you that stamp of approval? I mean, they gave me the stamp of approval in the beginning of my career. We was always locked just on the love uh-huh. of, uh, you know, easy RIP. But, um, you know, we had to fly all the members of Bone in from wherever they were uh-huh. in America, in the L.A., and we recorded the song like that. Well, where the hell were they? Chilling. Yeah. Yeah. So are they still intact? Like, cause I heard nah, that um, after they did the remix, then they just been off doing shows. They've been doing like all the Rock the Bell shows and everything. Okay, and cause what I heard it was like they had some kind of like riff raff going on in the group. That's and- how it go when you do groups. There's always gonna be a little bit of tension. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what I noticed early on from my G Unit days. But they back intact. So oh. look out for Bone Thug. God, I would pay to yeah. go see Bone nah, Thug. I mean, they got all the hits. Harmony. Oh yeah. yeah. It's that person of them on. like. <laughs> Come on. All right. So um, I want to talk about a lot of things that have come up lately about you, um, Game, yeah. um, with this 40 Glock situation. Let's just get that <laughs> out early, okay? Yeah. First of all, we saw a video online. I believe it was Wall Star where you whooped his ass and videotaped yeah. it. And then he pressed charges on you, and yeah, now and he's trying to sue you. The whole thing is just like, if you say something about TT, like, I'm going to whoop your ass. So <laughs> he said something about you, I chase him down, beat him up on Wall Star. Okay, and so now he's suing you, and then you took to your Twitter page and and told him you're gonna beat his ass again. After I pay him, <laughs> so good. Like I got long money, man. I got that. I got that Dwight Howard arms money. But Kane, you know, and I'm so mad that I lost your number because I was trying to look through my phone to text you. A little intervention. Yes, because yeah. I feel like. You know, you are in a different space. The last time we talked, you was like over this fighting and beefing. Yeah. And then I saw the video and I'm like, what is he doing? You see, what you got to understand is that when you're in a position like mine's, every now and then you're going to get somebody just trying you. It's only, you know, like nine times out of ten I try to walk away. But then when it comes right up in your face, uh-huh. you got to defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's most, I like, I didn't go picking a fight with dude. He started all that. He ran up on Plies, ran up on Jamie Foxx, had, said he had Lil Wayne in the car. So all on the internet yeah. and then when I finally caught him all that gangster stuff you know it went out the window and so I had to well on that boy he liked to put people on World Star. he's like Mr. He's that guy. Your... so I pulled out my iPhone I whooped him with one hand and I recorded it with the other hand so you know that's <laughs> I how it went <laughs> I can't with you okay so if he was to drop the lawsuit right and just squash it would you be good with 40 Glock yeah I'm good but you know like 
I didn't. I, the crazy thing about it is that, and this ain't to encourage nobody, but the reason that you can fight other rappers is because if a, if the other rapper ends up pressing charges or suing you, their rap career is over with. It just <laughs> it you, it kills all credibility. So I didn't think that he would ever do that. So the fact that he did that is just like wow. And 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 he was posing to be a super gangster, like the gangster of the new millennium. Like they ain't even seen this type of gangster. I'm forty Glock. I, and but then, isn't know. he like? Old, like I don't know how old like, he is. Why are you still fighting like your teenagers? Yeah, man, I don't know. Yeah. All right. So listen, can we play celebration real quick? Um, yeah. everybody. That if bus you just... driver was old. He's like fifty something. <laughs> when he was fighting, so I guess but he's he... still. <laughs> you going to jail now? You going to jail now, TT? But I felt like that bus driver had no choice in that situation. I had no choice in mine. <laughs> why can't I be like the bus driver? Dang, man. I can't with the. You going to jail now? <laughs> Let me find out. You going to go on the road was with, the hell or jail? with the bus driver. Yeah, you going was, to jail. I think it was jail. All right, let's Wait, get... is, Was he the police or something? <laughs> he was going to call the police. Oh, oh. Well, when, but when he was saying that, he was already in motion for the uppercut. So, I mean, he, like, I don't understand it. We need to get the bus driver on the line. If the bus driver, you got any family out in VA and y'all listening, call up. We want to know what you was thinking about oh as you were gosh. saying you going to jail with the uppercut in full swing. <laughs> Listen, game is in the building, everybody. Let's get to his new record at Type Power 921. Yes, sir. Having a celebration, Brand new music from the game. It's called Celebration on iPod 921. Interactive hip hop and RB. It's TT Torres. So the album. You gotta love that game guy. <laughs> When's the album dropping? The album dropped December 11th. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the name of. Jesus Peace. Yes. And um, some people were kind of, I guess, no. upset in a way. No what? Because of the art Who artwork. Cares? So you, you you didn't when you decided to do that artwork, uh, you didn't think about the backlash, or you was just what what's the what's the meaning behind it? The meaning behind it is that nobody that you know or I know has ever seen Jesus personally. So don't knock me for doing what I'm doing with my album, it's artwork. If you don't like it, close your eyeballs. If you don't want to listen to games, shut your ears or don't buy the album. It's simple as that. What it is is it is a is a symbol it's a symbolization of what I think. Jesus might look like, you know, from what I've read in the Bible, mixed up with things that I've encountered or that have embodied, uh, you know, my career from the beginning, like the rare rag mm -hmm. or the palm trees or the chronic. It's like, I love God. I go to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Like I'm in church every Sunday. Yeah. But then when I get home, you know, if I'm feeling a little stressed or, or I need to take a load off, then I'm going to roll me a joint and I'm going to, you know, do my thing. <laughs> and after that, if I feel like eating chicken wings and going to the strip club, I'm going to do that. But I ain't stopped loving God the whole day. So that's what the whole thing is about and um the album everybody from Trey Songs to J. Cole um two chains Rick Ross Wheezy Breezy Yeezy I got all the easies it, I even got T T Z on it. <laughs> you know well you know you can't have me do something on it. Yeah. So it's kind of a representation of your life. It's it's the balance between uh sh the streets, family and religion. Well how do you balance it all though? Because one thing I do know about you, you are a family man. Yeah. You know, your kids, your soon-to-be wife, hopefully, right? That's still on. Then we got the reality show coming yeah, on Yeah, we're going to get there. Um, how do you balance it all? Because, you know, I, I know how you are with your kids. You know what I mean? So how do you separate those three things? those three things how do you become you know you go from jason and then you go to the game yeah um it's just as simple as that you just separate them once i walk through that door and them kids get to screaming daddy and all of that and you know uh the, the that woman's there that needs to be taken care of then i go into family mode once i walk out that door you know it's los angeles a real dangerous city i'm in it i'm one of the you know focal points of that town and so i gotta watch my back i gotta you know turn down the music and lower the windows when i'm driving make sure nobody ain't trying to run up you know what i'm saying yeah. and uh once i get to the studio then i gotta turn into who i am which is you know my music and yeah. it, it's just like that that's the way i balance it it's the way i've been doing it for years and uh one day hopefully i'll come with um, you know, an alternate version of what I'm trying to do. But for now, man, it's just a struggle, but I'm trying yeah. to get to it. Yeah. Okay, listen, we got to take a quick break, but I want to talk about the new reality show yeah. and so much more. Everybody, if you're just tuning in, friend to the show, the game is in the listen building. Listen to us. It's iPower 921. iPower 921 is running. That's right, running for your vote as the number one station. We, we running run this. And Well, people don't know about you, the 
game. I've been thinking about you ever. Is that you are really funny. Like, naturally. I was singing all funny. the ladies out there, though. It's Hip Hop 921, Interactive Hip Hop and R&B. It's T.T. Torres. The game is in the building. The tornado flew inside my room. I, uh, uh, yeah, ladies. Uh-huh. All right. So um, one of the things that came across my BlackBerry the other day, yeah. when I get my little media alerts, the game proclaims Kendrick Lamar the West Coast Nas. Yeah. And you know what? You know, because I, like, I mean, I was real little when Nas came with Illmatic, but... He was real lyrical. He was real young, and he had the city behind him. And I just felt like for the West Coast, um, Kendrick, you know, how he's so lyrical. You know what I'm saying? He's so young, and people love him. And, and he's not a crip. He's not a blood. He ain't a thug. He's just a kid that, you know, seen that, that's from where I'm from. We're from the same neighborhood that's just talking about Los Angeles in general through yeah. his own eyes, man. It's just the innocence and, and his lyricism that's dope, man. So, you know. And that- Album is dope. so good. It's a dope ride. It's a dope ride, man. It's a good ride, man. It's just good hip hop music. And, and I, I appreciate it. I think I shared this with Kevin. I feel like you and Kendrick Lamar should go on tour together. Yeah, we we trying to work that out. We got a he, couple. We got a couple shows together coming up. Cause you guys do have collabos together and features. We got collabos. Right? You know what? The thing about it is that um, Kendrick Lamar's name used to be K Dot. Uh huh. And uh, I told him, you know, that he should. He should drop the K-Dot and he should just go by his real name, um, Kendrick Lamar Duckworth, and just take the Duckworth work off, work, uh, take the Duckworth off and um, just stay Kendrick Lamar as soon as he did that, out of there. He took off. Yeah, and I put him on his first mixtape. I took him on his first tour. I brought him out to VA before and nobody knew who he was and he was opening up. Yeah. yeah. You know what's crazy is I remember him being on the red carpet. I don't know if it was the Hip Hop Awards or the BET Actual Awards yeah. and people were calling him Bobby Valentino. Like, Nobody knew. <laughs> nobody knew yeah, who he was. That's funny. You know, now you you know, fast forward, the kid has got one of the hottest albums out right now and it, yeah. it's good for California. It's good it for is. LA. It's good for hip hop in general yeah, too. It know? is. But I feel like you and Kendrick Lamar um kind of breathe fresh air into the West Coast. Meaning, you know, Dre and Snoop and all of them had their era. Remember yeah. when you could not deny Snoop? I remember being like in the eighth grade, like singing, rapping yeah. all Snoop lyrics, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we didn't hear from the West Coast. You know, Easy had his run, Snoop had their run, and then here comes Game. After a long hiatus from the West Coast, here's this dude, like, tatted yeah. up, and he's tall, yeah. and he oh, got handsome, lyrics, yeah. and, you know. Please say, please say the handsome. Yeah. Handsome? There you go. There you go. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want Tiff to get mad, you know? Yeah. So, so anyway, so I felt like you guys played a really big part in keeping that West Coast flow going, yeah. you know what I mean? You know what, you know what the thing about Kendrick is, is that it's so, for me, it's cool to have someone else pushing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, when it, when I was just when I first came out, it was just me doing it by, it by myself. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. saying. And it, it's just cool to have somebody else doing it, and I know. And and the, and the best thing about it is he from Compton. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah, it's what, dope. What's going on with Nipsey Hussle? Do you Nipsey you know? doing his thing too, man? Nipsey is doing his thing. He's still doing his shows and rocking out, and uh, he working on his album now. Dom Kennedy, okay. um, is working on his man. So the West Coast, we got I think you know Tyler the Creator. They doing their thing, man. Yeah. They got their own little movement. So yeah, yeah, all right. yeah and y'all all support each other. Yeah, that's good. All right, so let's talk about this reality show that you have um, coming up now. When I first heard that you were doing a reality show, I'm not going to front, I called Kevin because, again, I watched the number. We got to exchange right. contacts. And I said, why is Game doing a reality show? I was like, <laughs> I don't want him doing a reality yeah. show because I feel like when some rappers do these reality shows, if it's not done right, that could be the death of their career. Yeah. So what can we expect with your new reality show? The thing about it, uh, you know, the thing about it, my career is that I kind of always just did what I want to do and still, um, you know, uh, when I went at Jay, it was supposed to be the death of my career. When I went at 50, it was supposed to be the death of my career. When I started acting, people were saying it was going to be the death of my career. Um, you know, uh, but acting were, was good for you. Like, yeah, yeah. Acting was pretty I, good. I, I wouldn't say you were great at it, but it was yeah. good for your career, yeah. like to kind of transition you a little bit. Yeah, it was, man. And so the reality show, it's about my family, but it, I don't think it will do anything as far as the rap is concerned, because people already know me of being, you know, for being a family guy and always had displaying love for my kids. You know, um, if it's not on the cover of the albums now through Instagram, new social media. But I think that we did everything that you could do on a reality show to get kicked right off the air but we went right to that line and stopped 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? So the reality show, it, it, it get a little ratchet. It ain't it ain't just no straight up nice uh, Huxtables, Brady Bunch type of thing going on, okay. you know? So I heard that you guys canceled the wedding. Yeah. And that the reality show was off. Why did you guys decide to cancel the wedding? Because life happens. Were you, you know what I'm saying? Did something happen? Did it was you just cheat? infidelity issues. Um, oh, cheat me? I would never cheat. Well, I hey, heard. Guys, I we heard. Don't cheat, do we, guys? Okay. I heard that you were cheating, and actually, you and Gloria from Basketball Wives LA Whoa! had ah! had jumped off with each other. Whoa! No, nah, that didn't happen. Are you I, sure I, that about that? No, I'm positive. Because I heard you slayed her right in that bed she shares with Whoa. Matt Barnes. Oh, that is crazy. See, man, that, I'm going to do you like Prince. That's that's my cue. <laughs> <laughs> so so hey, that nah, didn't man, happen. Ain't no truth to that, man. That's just the L.A. rumors, too much media takeout, gossip, and all of that, man. Okay. All right, so infidelity issues like on whose part? Your part? Um, Yeah, it was, it was on my part, says her. But, you know, everybody knows that I'm a stand-up guy. I'm a stand-up gentleman. I don't cheat. I don't do any of that. I would just respect women so much. Look, look, TT. You know, you see the, you see the so sparkle. So the wedding is back on and it's going down. VH1 gonna show you all that. Because listen, I understand how it works. Sometimes the wedding can happen on TV, but the paperwork is not signed behind the right. scenes. I want to know from the game: is the paperwork going to be signed? A marriage license is going to be in full effect. You want to know what everybody want to know. November 19th shall display it all. Okay. So the great thing, the great thing I like about your relationship with Tiffany, that's your um, soon-to-be wife. My baby's mama's Yeah, mama. and everything. The great thing I love about her is that she is a woman that kind of stays out of the spotlight. Yeah. She's a school teacher. She focuses more so on the family and the kids. Right. Is that good for you in terms of keeping you balanced? Yeah, yeah, she was. She was, you know, she did stay away and she stayed, you know, all the way out the way and she didn't want to be in the limelight and uh, all that changed, man, because now she kicking it with Shawnee O'Neal and they, she hanging out with Evelyn all up in do the Do you club. like that, though? I like her to have fun and do whatever she wants to do. You know what I'm saying? I just want her to have fun. But see, what I know... A happy from, wife is a happy yeah, wife. Yeah, but what I know from this industry is that most men who are in the limelight... They prefer their wifeies to stay behind the scenes because that way they can get, you know, they can get their stuff. That way cracking. they get, that way they can just ram that stick into that hole. Yes. See, yeah. I don't, I don't care, man. Because like I said, man, I'm, I'm good and in love with my family, man. And she can go out and she can do whatever she want to do. Yeah. So does your kids understand when the cameras are in the house? You do have they get no it? idea how much these kids understand. I think half of the time they be just looking at the camera, kind of getting, you know, doing their thing. <laughs> but uh, nah. My kids, man, my oldest son is, is, is we call him Square Bear because he squares a chair. He don't know nothing about hip-hop, nothing that's going on. <laughs> my five-year-old Justice is, he knows all the dances, all the raps, all the R&B songs. And my daughter, oh, my daughter, man, she is like a two-year-old and a ten-year-old body. Just the boss of the house. Yeah. Um, on Yesterday on Halloween, she didn't want to put on her stockings or her strawberry shortcake wig, so they just didn't go trick-or-treat. <laughs> Because the whole family didn't go trick or treat because she, she didn't want to put to on her stockings and the wig. She wanted to be the. Diva. She was strawberry shortcake. Yeah. She just only wanted to wear the dress and wanted to pick her own. She wanted to wear some Jordans with strawberry shortcake. Two years old, <laughs> crazy. Listen, man, I wish you much success on this reality show. I'm going yeah. to be tuned in, um, and I'm going to be down. watching Lock definitely. When, when is it going to air? It's again? Uh, November 19th on VH1. So right after Chris, Chrissy and Jim go off, then uh, we come on. It's called Mary in the Game. It's dope. And then um, your album is coming out in December. December 11th. Okay, so you're you're going to be pretty busy. Yeah. I'm promoting. Uh, my, I'm promoting Ti too. Uh, December 18th. Uh -huh. Everybody, look out for uh, you know my my man Hustle Man album, man okay. Ti. All right, My there dude. you go. I think I've asked all the questions. Anybody else had any more twit questions or anything like that? Listen, game, it's a pleasure having you on the show. Always. Um, you're always so open and honest, and you answer all of my questions without no hesitation. I really do appreciate <laughs> you for that. It's all good. Um, let's get into your new single, which is the remix. Okay, you got Bone Thugs and Harmony, yeah. all original guys. All right. <laughs> it's the first time that all five uh, Bone members been on any song since, like, the 90s. Okay, all right. So let's check it out. Type out one one the game is in the building. Let go. TV One on Comcast, Channel 65, Verizon 241, and DirecTV, Channel 328. Well